As most of you know, the holidays are probably my most favorite time of the year. It's a time when all of us can sit back, relax, and enjoy quality family time together while your local law enforcement and other emergency services personnel are out there on the streets protecting all of us. One of my favorite books is The Days Before Christmas. Twas the days before Christmas when all through the county crooks were stirring hoping to steal some bounty. Stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that burglars would leave them there. The children were nestled all safe in their beds while detectives posted online visions of offenders' heads. And with deputies on patrol and I in my office to review some reports and what evidence was in process. When out of the radio there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my desk to see what was the matter. Away to the hall I flew like a flash, to the duty officer's room I did dash. When what to my wondering eyes should appear, but a TV and Queen Anne's most wanted that I could hear. And with help from QAC TV, the program was lively and quick. And I knew in a moment, the show must make fugitives sick. And the sheriff gave descriptions and called them by name and what their charges were and their claim to fame. Now Dispro, now Dorje, now Peoples, now Anderson, on Collier, on Conti, on Durrell, and on Robinson. Call with tips on them all he did say. Help us find them and let's lock them away. So up to the houses the deputies did go, based on the tips that came in from this show. With their hands full of warrants and the SWAT team if needed, soon they'd be in custody if the sheriff's advice was not heeded. For those that live out of state and think they got away, it may be our friends from the marshals at your door today. Turn yourself in today or tomorrow, or for the holidays you may sit in jail and have such sorrow. And then in a twinkling, St. Nicholas did appear, not in a sleigh, but using a gator made by John Deere. And he looked like a peddler just opening his pack, turning in old prescriptions drugs he had in his sack. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, checking out mugshots and faces that he began to sort. This one has dreadlocks and a broad face. She looks like the woman in a counterfeit case. And then he left stockings with candy and treats with colors so bright for the deputies who work the weekends, holidays, and through the night. He sprang out the door to his ride, saying they can run, but they all can't hide. But when I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, happy holidays to all and a safe good night. And now for more details on our wanted persons. Stacy Naka Peoples, five foot four, 125, African-American female, 37 years old, arrest warrant for theft and theft scheme. Brenda Jean Anderson, may be known as Brenda Roby, wanted for theft. She's 46 years old, five foot three. She could be working on the Western Shore. Tanya Jean Collier, also known as Tanya Zanoni or Tanya Jean Quarles, 46 year old white female, five foot five inches tall, 110 pounds. She's wanted for forgery. She's believed to be in North Carolina. Robert Leonard Conti, wanted for non-support, 54 year old, Last known address, Annapolis area. Nicole Phyllis Durrell, wanted for a controlled dangerous substance distribution, PCP. 36 year old female, could be using the name Nicole Castro. Maybe in Florida, Georgia, or Texas. Courtney Amory Robinson, failed to appear on controlled dangerous substance charges. 32 years old, five foot two, 100 pounds. Was in Pennsylvania, but could be in the Myrtle Beach, South Carolina area. Also known as Courtney Davenport. I want to take this time to thank all of our viewers on QAC TV 7, those on YouTube, and those that follow us on Facebook and Twitter. But as we bring the year to a close, it's so important to give thanks to everyone who's made Queen Anne's County's most wanted a success. Please take notes at the end to the credits that we'll be rolling to show that. But special thanks to QAC TV 7, the Queen Anne's County Commissioners, our staff writer at the office, our PIO, Lieutenant Dale Patrick, and my staff for their support. 
but all of this couldn't be done without the help of you, the viewer. I hope all of you have a great, joyous, and happy holiday season, and look forward to serving you next year with more Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted.